Thanks, Stan. What is Bill O'Reilly in the middle of time segment tonight? The D-man has been discussing the Obama No Show at the Paris protests on his syndicated radio program. He joins us now from Santa Barbara. So, what is your take on this? Um, you know, I would have thought he would have sent Sharpton over because you know every time <laughs> I see one of those parades where everybody's linked hands, Sharpton seems to know that drill. But we didn't even send him over. Like I said before, Billy, it's ironic to me that President Obama's approach to explaining terrorism to me is torturous. He won't use torture with the actual terrorists, but I gotta hear them belabor these points and go around the Cape of Good Hope to not say who's actually doing it. I think Obama, quite frankly, didn't go because he thinks Charlie Hebdo is the slot receiver for the Green Bay Packers. And once again, he's gone past obstinate here on this issue. He's now officially creepy. I think the terrorists are trying harder because they're pissed off that he won't give them the credit they feel is their due. Once again, Obama, his most ardent devotees have now reached that point. Even Josh Ernest, where they have to tell you that he's not malevolent in all these issues. He's just hapless. Imagine that, telling people, no, no, don't mistrust him. He's just, he's hapless. Yeah, he's and I case. think that's it. I just think he doesn't care anymore about it. It's a pain for him. He's not going to get on the plane yeah. and fly over there for eight hours and hang around with Merkel. I mean, he'd much rather stay in the White House and then go out and give people free college tuition, which we'll get to in a moment. But yeah, but an... that shoot up in Paris, Billy, that wasn't Islamic terror in much the same way the Des Bryant play wasn't a catch. Come on, right. everybody knows everybody what's knows happening it. here. Now, there is the uh, mayor of... Um, Rotterdam in Holland. His name is Ahmed Abouleteb. He's a Muslim from Morocco. He went to, uh, emigrated to the Netherlands when he was 15 years old. Here's what he said about the deal. Go. That you so tegen die vrijheid you kunt keren, maar als je die vrijheid niet zit in hemelsnaam, pak je koffer en vertrek. Ja, en als je het hier niet zit zitten, omdat je humoristen niet zit zitten die een krantje maken, ja, mag ik het zo zeggen? Yeah, I don't know. He said F off in Dutch. <laughs> so he basically. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know F off in Dutch was the same bleep as we use here. I thought yeah, they used the, same, the Netherlands bleep. No, there's or a something. little accent on a bleep, but it's the same yeah. thing. And, and he's, think, uh, he's mad at his uh, co religionists, although yeah. he describes himself as a secular man. Well, either my man's the most courageous cat in the world or he got into the, the Netherlands hashish cabinet over there. I will say this. <laughs> Over there, that, their mayor's saying that about terrorism. De Blasio says that same thing about the cops, for God's sakes. That sounds like a de Blasio speech about his own police force. And by the way, Billy, speaking of de Blasios, we go out on the Boulder Fresher, or I should say the renamed Don't Be a Pinhead Tour this year. I don't think we max out our merchandise opportunities. So I've come up with a new look, new sportswear, where we microweave the mayor's face right into the fabric <laughs> and this way you can perpetually keep your back turned on this jerk so do you want do you want to put the uh, script over that don't be a pinhead and have him underneath yeah. it is that what we uh, that's think about I, well i think we ought to call it don't be a de blasio i mean boy he's still in trouble uh over here and you know he uh, he's given uh, little id cards to anybody who wants them and uh, the al-qaeda guys are lined up about broadway to get these things uh i don't know yeah. whether you know that or not They're well free. listen uh, you know when obamacare will break down is when they find out you might need an ID card to participate in that. That's when you'll see Roadrunner accounts head off right. into the distance. All right, uh, Miller went to college. I went to college, uh, and uh, I paid, uh, you know, my dad, he paid uh, my tuition. I paid my uh, expenses, and I painted houses to do it and all of that. Uh, I was lucky to have a father who would even pay the tuition. But now the president kind of want to give uh, some free tuition and low uh, loans and all that. How do you see it? Well, we're, we're doing too much germ-proofing with these kids. I mean, you can make it all the way through to your retirement ceremony inside the amniotic sac now. We might as well, we might as well just start teaching classes on Twitter in 140 characters or less. At some point, these kids are going to graduate into the school of hard knocks, and I would hope at some point they know how they earn and they know how to pay off a debt. And doing everything for kids, I know that sounds like a great idea, but then they get dumped out at 30 and they're like the boy in the glass I bubble. There has to be, knows what to do. Yeah, there, there's a, uh, you know, there has to be, there are opportunities in work study and, and low cost loans. And I, 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 but I do want as many, uh, particularly poor children, to have educational as much. So uh, I have to look you know, at Liz, it. Billy, this is the sort of thing that leads to Sandra Fluke 
at age 31 asking me to comp her diaphragm. You know, yeah, I mean, at some point true. you got to pay your bills. At some point you have to be pony up and uh, earn your way. Dennis Miller, everybody. <laughs> and the D-Man and I are kind of astounded at how quickly the new Don't Be a Pinhead shows are selling out tonight. We have three new dates. Friday, June 5th, State Theater, Cleveland, Ohio. Saturday, June 6th, Orpheum Theater, Memphis, Tennessee. Friday, August 14th, the Borgata Hotel in Atlantic City. We've been there before. It's always a blast.